Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Megan Prosser and today we are going to be talking all about garter snake care. So this is my garter snake Orion. He is an albino checkered garter snake and he is the sweetest thing in the whole entire world. I have two garter snakes. Um, I have a normal checkered garter snake Odysseus. So he's like a black and green. I will be including extra footage in this video so you'll see him in there. But I got a comment the other day talking about how somebody wanted to see a garter snake care guide because there's not many of them out there on the tube. So. Here we go, let's get right into garter snake care. Whoa! So first things first, we will talk about food for these guys. So these guys are actually um, one of the few species of snakes that don't need to eat mice. Although they can still eat mice and it does provide them basically everything they need. You don't have to feed the mice if you're not interested in feeding a snake a mouse. I personally feed these guys mice, but I like to offer them a wide variety of different type of foods since they can eat different types of foods. So I feed them pinky mice, I feed them worms, night crawlers that are cut up, not the full thing. And then I feed them fish. They can eat silver side fish. They can eat guppies and platies, appropriate sized guppies and platies, live or dead. But please, please, please stay away from minnows, like rosy red minnows and goldfish because they carry a bacteria or it's a vitamin in them called, I'm pretty sure thiamines. I'm gonna put it up over here, the name of it. Do not feed them that. <laughs> feed them mice, guppies, platies, earthworms, and also don't feed them anything that you found from outside. Like don't feed them wild caught like guppies or wild caught worms or anything like that because they carry different bacteria and parasites that can really, really hurt your little guy. So please do not do that. As far as food, again, I strongly believe in a varied diet. So I don't think you should just feed your snake worms if you're looking for a snake because you don't want to feed mice maybe you shouldn't get a snake because at the end of the day mice really are the best feeders for these guys so very diet I think that's important for these guys since they can eat so many different things So next thing next is housing for these guys. I have two of them so I keep them okay and he's pooping all over me so this is great Thank you so much. Literally just pooped all over me. So it's time for him to go away. And I'm gonna go clean myself. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. So I was on to housing. As far as housing, if you have one male garter snake, you can keep that male in a 20 gallon tank. But one thing I would say is that these are not creatures that will just sit there. They don't just sit around and hang out. They are super duper active, super duper curious, and they're constantly going around the tank and hanging out. So if you would want to upgrade to a 30 or 40 gallon, they would love it, even if they're alone, like they would love it. Personally, I have two of them when they were babies and they're still pretty much babies, but when they were younger, they were in a 20 gallon tank. That one right there actually. <laughs> They're in a 20 gallon tank. Then I upgraded them to a 40 gallon because I do have two of them housed in the same enclosure. So I knew right away I had to double the size. So if you can keep one garter snake in a 20 and if you have two of them in the same tank, you have to go to a 40. So that's why I have them in a 40, which is right up there, their 40 gallon. Again, even if I just had Orion, I would probably end up upgrading him anyway to at least a 30 or something. Cause he, they are so cool and crazy and adventurous and they just are constantly moving. They're constantly coming up to the glass and sticking their little nose at me, but just because they really think I have food for them, but still it's cute, so whatever. <laughs> 20 to 40 gallons is pretty decent size. If you wanna go bigger than that, even like a 75 gallon, especially if you have multiple, they will go crazy. Like they will utilize all of the space in their tank, so. As far as substrate, I'm currently keeping my guys on Aspen. Aspen is a fine substrate, but I actually want to start switching more into like the bioactive, like eco earth and stuff like that, and like mulch and the moss and everything because that's what their substrate is like when they're out in the wild. Because I live in New York and 
they live in New York, they live in Pennsylvania, they live all around this area, New Jersey, you know. So I've seen where they hide, where they like to stay, and they like to stay in like a dirt, kind of moist area. So I want to switch over from Aspen, although Aspen is fine, you can definitely use Aspen. I do want to eventually switch to Eco Earth and a more like dirty kind of um, substrate because I think that they might really like it. And now moving on to enrichment. Enrichment is all the things you put in the tank that will help your animal thrive, including hides, climbing stuff, um, greenery, you know, all different types of things, logs, stuff for them to climb on, hide under. So as far as enrichment, this is very important for garter snakes because like I said before, they are super adventurous, super crazy. They love to just slither all around the tank constantly. So the more hides you have, the more foliage, the more climbing materials, just lots of hides, climbing foliage, and you'll have a happy garter snake. So humidity. I spray down my tank once a day with a little spray bottle that is conditioned with RepTo-Safe. And their humidity should be kept anywhere from 40 to 60% humidity, but keep the humidity higher when they're in shed. And that was actually a really big problem when I first got them. I didn't realize how high the humidity had to be when they were shedding. Also a humidity box. Add in a humidity hide or humidity box or something for them because that also really helps them when they're shedding. Yeah, basic humidity should be anywhere from 40 to 60%, but a little bit higher or add in a humid hide when they're in shed. As far as heating, these guys technically don't really need a heating source. Like right now for my guys, I don't have a heat lamp, but I do have an under tank heat mat set to 85 degrees on their hot side and then the whole rest of the tank is anywhere during the day from like 78 to like 85 degrees but yeah if you live in a warmer place or in the place where they live during the year you don't technically need all of the heating supplies but i personally do do heating i do an under tank heat mat or a heat lamp which is also really great because they actually bask which is really freaking cool <laughs> like lots of snakes don't bask garter snakes will definitely bask and it's super duper cool so yeah some people say you don't need heating for them because they can live in room temperature which is true they can live in room temperature but other people of course like to give them that basking spot or give them that hot hide because it'll help with digestion and it'll help them just thrive better so that is up to you. I personally use a heat mat and in the winter, I do give them a basking spot. In the summer right now, if I were giving them a basking spot, it would just get so hot because it's like already 95 degrees out. So yeah, that's basically it for temperatures. Cool side in the 70s, it can go into the 60s at night, their whole tank, and then the hot side in the 80s. Could reach up into the 90s, but 80s is comfortable for them. And one last thing I forgot to add in was a water bowl. Obviously give them a water bowl that is big enough for them to soak their whole entire body into if they need it but on that note that is basically it that's the end of my video um, again I'm not an expert on garter snakes I do know a lot about them I keep them but I'm still learning things every single day so if you guys have any comments on my care or any advice on how I can take better care of these guys please let me know down in the comments below and I can adjust if I think it is appropriate to adjust so again just emphasizing I'm not an expert this is just how I care for them. This seems to work for them. I have done a lot of research on them and this seems correct. <laughs> this seems like it's great, but you guys have to do your own research. Please don't just rely on this video for the care of your garter snakes. So look into it, do your own research, join some Facebook groups. They're really great. There's super duper great breeders and owners on there who have been breeding and owning these great snakes for years, years and years and years and years. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.